Hello everyone. So today we are going to see session tracking using cooking. In the previous video we have seen the session tracking using hidden form fields and URL rewriting. If you didn't watch then watch that video. So let us see session tracking using cookies. So cookies or HTTP cookies are the small textual information allocating memory at a client side remembering client data across the multiple request. Then next. Every cookie contains the following details. First one is cookie name, then cookie value, then domain name that is website name that will be string, cookie name will also will be string and value will be string and expiry time, expiry time will be integer. Then next, there are two types of cookies. First one is in memory cookie and second one is persistent cookie. First, in memory cookie, these cookies allocate memory in the browser memory of the RAM. Then next one, these cookies do not have expiry time default time is minus one and these cookies will be destroyed each time when we when the user closes the browser and it is valid for a single session next one is persistent cookies these cookies allocate memory in the client machine file system having expiry time so those cookies have expiry time this cookie will not be destroyed though the browser is closed they will be destroyed only when the expiry time is completed so this is very important if you close the browser then these cookies will not be destroyed this cookie will be destroyed only when their expiry time is completed and this it is valid for multiple sessions so to create a cookies what we can do we can use cookie ck1 is equal to new cookie this is name of cookie and value of cookie then if you want to create new cookie then next step cookie ck2 equal to new cookie name of the cookie and value of the cookie then if you want to set the time after which the cookie will be destroyed then we can use ck2 dot set max h this time will be in the second if we are giving here 60 second that means one minute so after one minute this cookie will be destroyed automatically then we have to add the cookies in a response so response that add cookie ck1 and ck2 here we are taking give um, this is ck1 is a in memory cookie because we have not set the maximum means expiry time but ck2 is a persistent cookie because we have set here a maximum age as 60 second then if you want to modify the cookies values we can use this method ck1 dot set value as value whatever we have to do so what happened here we are setting the value as value 1 if we set value as value 3 then this cookie value will become value 3 so we can also set value if you want to set next to read the cookies we can use this so cookie cookies array equals to request dot get cookie so in the cookies array whatever cookies we are adding whatever we are cook uh, cookies we are creating that will be stored in the cookies in the order what we have created that means in the cookies 0 at 0 so index the ck1 the first we have added that will be there and uh, cookies at index 1 the next one ck2 mean the in the order we are uh, creating and storing in that order that cookies will be stored in this this array then again we can fetch and if you want name then we can use cookie dot get name and next one cookie get your value we will get here a value then if you want to see the expiry time of the cookies what we can do is int expiry time equal to ck dot get max h next one if you want to delete cookies so cookies can be deleted programmatically because they are local to memory at a client side once the browser is closed in memory cookies will be destroyed but persistent cookie will be destroyed after completing their expiry time so we can't delete the cookies if the in memory cookies will be de uh, destroyed after closing the browser and the persistent cookie will be destroyed after their completing expiry time then to get the domain name what we can use string ck dot get domain so that will be give the local host 880 app name next we can also set the domain name by using cookie one dot set domain cookie two dot set domain so let us see 
by one of the example so what we'll do here so we will create here one form index.html in that we will take a input from user that is name and address and here we will uh, give option to choose anyone sweet or spicy then click on submit so for processing this request we will write first survey it and in that we will write another form and uh, if he click on sweet then we will give here a sweet option then if he click on spicy then we will give a another option so after that in the first survey it so this is a request one and we will process this request one in the survey it one in that survey it one that survey it name will be first survey it so in that survey it name another we will create a one form this is second form and that will give us request 2 this will give us request 2 and that will be process in the second server letter so it will give go here so what we will do this request 1 will be process in first server letter and what we will do we will create here a cookies in the first server letter and we will add the name of that user what is given in the form and we can access that name in the second servlet that means request one data that is name we are accessing accessing in the request two this is a session tracking what we are giving let's suppose the user given name as sam then he click on submit so that will go to first servlet in first servlet what we will do we will create a cookie cookie ck1 equals to new cookie and name and whatever name we have taken that will be added in the cookie then we will add a response dot add cookie ck1 then another form we will create in first server after submitting that form the request will be process in here and in second servlet we can get this cookie value by using cookie cookies array equal to request dot get cookies and we can use the name what we have set up in the ck1 that is sam we will use in the second server so let us go to the eclipse id here we are in eclipse id make sure that your tomcat is configured with the eclipse id so right click on this then go to new then here you can see dynamic web project here we will uh, create project name as http cookies then click on next then next then generate web.xml then click on finish so here our project is created that is http cookies in this http cookies we can see src main then src here we will main expand this main in this main we can see web app then uh, here right click on this web app then go to new then here we will create a html file and that file name will be index.html then finish so here we will create one of the form so here i have written the html form so what we are doing here here i have created a form then action is first url then method equals to post then first we will take here name input type equal to text and name is name then next one we will give here a choice choose anyone and here we are using select in the select we will give option sweet or spicy so whatever he so whatever 
the user will uh, select that will be stored in the dish and the name will also store in the name so let us see right click on this and open with web browser so this is our form here we have taken name and choose any one of them that is sweet and spicy so for margin we have written here a style div width equal to 500 and margin auto and margin top equal to 100 pixel so here we can see margin top and margin auto so this is our form next step here we are using action equal to first url so what we will do we will create a servlet so in the src main right click on this go to new then here we create package com dot servlet then click on finish then right click on this go to new go to class and here we will create what here we will create first servlet and it should the super class will be http servlet here we are not getting http servlet so we must add the servlet api so i have already downloaded the servlet api by using maven from the browser so i will add this you can also add so build path configured build path and click on class path and add external jar so here i have already downloaded the tomcat servlet api and i am using tomcat 9 so you can also download from the browser uh, servlet api and you can add this then click on apply and apply and close so we'll go to com.servlet package right click on this go to new then go to class and here we will write what first servlet and browse here http servlet yes this is coming then ok finish so first servlet is created now in this index.html we have given url pattern so copy this and here we will use the annotation at the rate web servlet and here we will give url pattern slash first url means after submitting this form it will go to first servlet next now in this index.html we can see method is post so in the first servlet we will write do post control space and enter do post is created let me take here a response or yes and let me delete this now what we will do we will fetch one by one values name and dish and uh, we can see name and dish so if he choose here a suite then we will give sweet options if he the user choose spicy then we will give spicy option so for that we have to write a logic in this first servlet so here i have written the code so i will explain this so first is get print writer print writer pw equal to rh dot get writer next we will set the content type res dot set content type text as html next read the values from the form so whatever we have taken here form we will read values one by one so here we can see name and dish so go to first servlet here we can see string name equals to request dot get parameter name so whatever name user will type in this name will be fetch here next one is dish so whatever he will choose either sweet or spicy that will be stored in the dish then we will fetch here next one is create a cookie so we will create a cookie 
and cookie ck1 equal to new cookie the cookie name will be username and uh, the value will be name what we have taken in the form that uh, cookie will be store and make sure that you will add that cookie in the response otherwise cookies will not work so response dot add cookie ck1 so next step is so if the user choose the sweet then we will give the option as gulab jamun and jalebi and else means the user is choose the what spicy in the spicy we will give option as samosa and paneer and here we will write the logic so form action equal to second url then we will create a second servlet and we will give here a select option dish gulab jamun and jalebi and submit button also for the spicy we will give a option so let me save this and here this is end then we will uh, close the stream pw dot close so stream is close now let me save this and let us see right click on this http cookies then run as run on server then i am using tomcat 9 so click on this next then remove all i want here only http cookies then click on finish it will be open in the browser ok then server is loading so here we go this is our form index.html so in the web.xml let us expand this in the src main web apps in webinf in web.xml the welcome file is already index.html so that's why after deploying this after running this application on the server the first page is index.html because the name of our html form first is index.html and in a web.xml this welcome file here we have given index.html so the first page that will open will be index.html if we have given here another name then uh, that will not open so because we have given index.html so also we can change here a name right click on this and we can change here a name rename and we can give another name and if you want that page will open after running on servlet at the first that name you can give here in the welcome file so this is for that this is the opening now what we will do here we will give sam an option as i want spicy then submit so here we can see this is a first url this is first url look at us 30 30 http cookies first url so after submitting form that will go to first servlet and we are taking here a name and dish so according to dish we will give her here a choice so here the user if he choose spicy then he will get samosa and paneer next if he will choose sweet then submit he will get gulab jamun and jalebi so after clicking on submit what will happen it will go to action that is second url but we have not written the second url so let me submit this and here we got 404 second url is not available so let us go to eclipse and right click on this com.servlet and go to new go to class here we will write second servlet browse super class will be what http servlet okay then finish <coughs> and here we will give at the rate control space web servlet 
and the URL what we have given in the first servlet we taken here URL second URL copy this go to second servlet and paste here go to first servlet and what we are taken is method as post so go to second servlet and here we will write what do post control space here we are taken click on this and enter let me delete this and here we will take response so as I explain what we are doing first is index.html second is first servlet and is first servlet submit will go and uh, this name we can access in second servlet through the cookies so it's time to write logic for second servlet so go to Eclipse and here we will write logic so here I have written the code so I will explain this so first step is common get right get print writer print writer pw go to res dot get writer then set content type res dot set content type equal to text slash html the next one is get the values so whatever we have set the values in the cookie cookie ck1 equals to new cookie username and name so that will be fetch in this second servlet how can we read the cookies 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 are equals to request dot get cookies that means what is happening in the first servlet what we have form given along with that we will pass along with that the cookies will be passes through the second request and that cookies we can access here let me go here so whatever cookies whatever cookies whatever cookies we have added in first servlet we are adding in response so the request what will go to second servlet Along, along with that request our cookies will also go so let's go to eclipse and we will read the cookies so cookie cookies are equals to request dot get cookies then here we will see if cookies is not equal to null then we will fetch the value name equals to cookies at position 0 dot get value if cookies is equal to null then we will print cookies deleted let me print on the browser for that what we will use pw.println cookies will be deleted and whatever dish in the first servlet the dish whatever he choose in the dish that will be gulab jamun or jalebi so if we choose the spicy that will be the samosa and paneer that will be read the value in this and cookies value we are reading here then dish value we are written and we will display here thank you name your dish will be placed soon and close the stream so let me save and here we have saved this so here we can see the server is already here let me go back back and let's refresh this let's go to let me stop the server and again right click on this then run as run on server tomcat 9 next and finish server starting it will open in the browser yes now first I will give here a SAM then if I want here a spicy then submit then first URL is opening first URL you can see and what here we uh, if I want here what inspect let me inspect this and right click right click and 
web page source here we go second url post dish samosa paneer but whatever we have added in the cookies it is not displaying displaying here because we have written in java so let me go here here we will choose what paneer and click on submit so here we can see thank you sam your panel will be placed soon here we can see second url so that means whatever form on data that is name we are accessing in the request to this request one data we are accessing in the request to this is session tracking so using cookies we are doing this so whatever we are written this sam we are adding in the cookies so first is index.html we have taken here a name and dish so that will go to first servlet so here we are adding the name and whatever we have added name in the first servlet we are accessing in the second servlet using the cookies so so this is a example for what in memory cookies in memory cookies that means we have not set the time for it so after closing the browser that cookies will be destroyed now here we will see example for persistent cookies so we will take here a same example but we will write here before the response dot add cookies we will write ck1 dot add set maximum age set max age if i want here a age as a what one minute that means 60 second here we will take one minute so the age will be added here and the server is loading so let me go to the browser and let me refresh go back this is index.html let me refresh this then here what will happen is we have what we are doing in the first servlet we set maximum age that means cookies will be destroyed after the one minute so we will see practical go to browser let me refresh it is refresh so here we will write sam and now we will take here a sweet submit and uh, here i want jalebi and submit here we can see sam so wait for one minute and uh, after one minute we will refresh this and we can see whether the our cookie value is destroyed or not so wait for one minute so after one minute i am refreshing this refresh continue resubmit the form and here we can see thank you null your jelly will be placed soon that means cookie is deleted because what we are doing here is we have set here a time as 60 second that means one minute so one minute after one minute the value will be destroyed and uh, in the second servlet we have written here a logic if cookies equals to null we will print cookies deleted and the name will be null because cookies is deleted so this is an example for persistent cookie whatever i have explained these cookies will be destroyed though browser is closed they will be destroyed only when the expiry time is completed the expiry time is completed and that cookie is destroyed so this is an example for persistent cookie and first we have seen in memory cookies so i will give the link of the code in the description so before that what is last is what are the advantages and disadvantages for working with cookies so let us see so this is a 
advantage and disadvantages so advantages of cookies cookies allocate memory at a client side so that will not give burden to the server this is one advantage next one we can set expiry time to the cookies what we have discussed here already next work for all the servers so whatever different servers tomcat glassfish wildfire for that all servers cookies will work so these are the advantages next what are the disadvantages so for using we must use a protocol http based servlet component to work with this technique this is first disadvantage next one cookies can hold only text data we cannot keep all the all kinds of java object in the cookies this is second disadvantage and uh, the cookies data can be viewed from the browser settings you can go to the browser setting and search for cookies there you will get the cookies and their data so that means we can see the cookies data next if cookies are deleted in the middle of the session then session tracking will be con uh, discontinued not be continued we can also delete cookies by going to browser settings this is the disadvantage then cookies travel along with the request and response so that will increase network network traffic between the server and browser so whatever cookies we are adding that will be travel along with the request and response so that's why network traffic between servers and browser will be increased that is a disadvantage and the important disadvantage is cookies can be restricted coming to the browser so in the browser we have option to restrict the cookies so if a user restrict the cookies then the cookies will not work so these are the disadvantage so this is all about cookies in the next video we will see about http session and you will get all the code links in the description